Fantastic show for you tonight. Hope you enjoy it. You'll hear some amazing musical performances and you'll see some truly inspirational women. We're in London at Cadogan Hall raising money for Breakthrough Breast Cancer. It's the fifth Inspiration Awards. As you can see behind me, people are just starting to arrive on the pink carpet and Stephanie was backstage earlier on getting some of the gossip. As you can hear, the Inspiration Awards are rehearsing right now. I'm going to get all the backstage gossip for you. I can't wait to have some exclusive interviews and to see it all progress tonight. So I'm here with Natalie Green and her director, Michael, and you're performing here again. Uh, what's so great about the awards? Why do you keep coming back? Um, it's such a, an amazing event. Um, for such an amazing cause and we just like to bring the right kind of music. It's got to be inspirational. So we like to bring the right music and the right voices and this is the right voice. It's, it's very close to loads and loads of people's hearts. Can't wait to get up there, sing, mm -hmm. um, do, do my thing and yeah, it's going to be a really amazing night. Daisy, so you've just literally finished rehearsing and uh, you're here again, so what's so great about these awards? It's very inspirational hearing all the stories and all the people who are doing these wonderful things that you would otherwise not get to hear about. Oh, and here's Matt. <laughs> Hello. 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 Sorry Hola. to disturb you. All right. Great. Uh, so you're warming up, are you? Are you yeah, feeling I'm it? Sitting around more than warming up, but a bit <laughs> And uh, So do, what do you want you singing tonight? Yeah, I'm going to sing a couple of tracks in the album. The Inspiration Awards, so it's there for inspirational women, so it's there for the people that have, have done amazing things and deserve to be recognised for doing amazing things. Yeah, each story that you hear throughout the course of the year and the course of the years, what these people have done and what they give back as well to society and community, it's an honour for us to be here to celebrate them and to, to sort of mark what they've done. Well, John and Jenny are just finishing their sound check, but I'm going to take you backstage while we have a chance. It's not that far, really. And I've noticed the awards are here already. OK, I'm allowed a seat peek, but actually you're not, I'm sorry. So no looking at the names. We've just come off stage with Blake. Oh, they sounded really good. And oh, good, thanks. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a fantastic evening, it's a fantastic um, event, it's a fantastic, fantastic cause and something we believe in. We're not such inspirational women, but um, we hope we're inspiring in some form. It's funny because I was actually just going to give you this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi Sarah. Hello. Hi. Um, so you're presenting today. I certainly am, yes. It's just great to meet these women, hear their stories. And it's so nice to come to an award ceremony where the audience is predominantly women. It's women celebrating other women. And each one is so humbled by the other's experience. I was just looking around, I was thinking, where can I plonk? My wife is going to be here. <laughs> My mother-in-law, these are truly inspirational women. What I like about this, most notably, is to celebrate females. And, and, and sometimes men are all shouty and their achievements are so hugely celebrated. With, with women, I just think there's a, there's a subtlety to it. As you can see, they're just doing their last minute run through of the scripts. Everything's about to start, so I'll hand over to you, Zoe. Thank you, Stephanie. So now it's time to go inside and let's see who's arriving. many women here. I mean, I, I, I read through all the biogs and I'd like them all to win. Celebrate inspiration, even when you don't know. It's wonderful. It's so nice for women to celebrate themselves because yeah. we never do. A lot of the women here have never been recognised. So they get really excited about the whole prospect of being here and they get as nervous as actors do at the Oscars because it's their big moment. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're here tonight? I am nominated for Most Inspirational Female. Three years ago I was burned in a house fire 
um, I sustained 45% burns and I was told I'd never walk again. And I decided to turn that negative energy into determination and here I am today using my story to educate others. I do a lot for women, I mean I really do, I feel passionate about more women being in the boardroom. I set up a social enterprise called So You Want to Be in TV after my son was shot and stabbed while in school. Um, I didn't want revenge and I wanted to reach out to the community. For me, it's just an honour to be nominated. I mean, I'm just, I know there's some incredible women here. What an amazing place to be, loads of women. It's good for me. Well, congratulations for being nominated for an award tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing and why you've been nominated? I've been working out in Watamu, Kenya for the past 13 years, over which time I've built, I built three schools that educate 700 children a year. It's hard work, but we love it. I feel as though I've been given it to do and I'm, I just love it. Why I'm here? <laughs> because I was recommended to be here by that chap there, that's my son. So as you can see behind me, people are starting to make their way into the auditorium and tonight's event are about to start. So all the nominees must be very excited and nervous and I just want to wish them all good luck. And the winner is... Kate Farnell. First award of the evening, were you nervous? Um, I wasn't nervous because I didn't think for a million years that I was going to win. It's two years ago exactly tonight since I lost the most inspirational woman in my life and that was my mum, so mum. I know you're watching this one's for you, babe. To Claire Horton, to be considered an inspiration means I am truly blessed. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. The winner is Rebecca Adams. 2012, a great year to be British. Um, what have your thoughts been on the on the Olympics? Oh, it was amazing. I just thought they were mind blowing. You know, absolutely mind blowing. And um, the Olympics this year, there's been a lot of inspirational people there. How have you, have you enjoyed the Olympics? I just adored them. I was hooked. I went to see uh, Jessica Ennis. Jessica Ennis. She's amazing, isn't she? Number one, she's done incredible. And number two, she has dropped there gorgeous. And body. I thought you were going to mention her bum specifically, she's got a great bum. Well, I didn't want to go that far, but if you want me to, I will, yeah, she's got a great bum. Oh, I loved Mo Farah. I actually, you know, I just thought he was absolutely amazing. <gasps> oh, it's got to be Mo. Everybody's Mo. keep saying Mo. How's your Mo bar? <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be really great to see the Blake boys do the Mo bar. Winner. Definitely a winner. My first inspirational award goes to... incredible great British Paralympic swimming team. We're very privileged and proud to be part of such a great team. And I thank you very much for everything. We were just so, it was so unexpected that we suddenly went up and we were like, oh my gosh, what, what are we actually doing? <laughs> you know, there's amazing women out there and I think we definitely don't deserve it compared to the people. Some of the oh, we've oh what? Everyone was just so wonderful and so supportive and so enthusiastic and so passionate and so emotional and you just realised we really did have the nation behind us. How proud I am to receive this, it's incredible. And the winner is my good friend Donna Air. I've got my little girl here with me, so I should thank her. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Somebody's excited about the win. <laughs> How was that for you? Yes! <laughs> Tonight I will dedicate my award to my daughter because she lost her life to breast cancer. 
And as a mother, you hope that along the way you have been a bit inspirational for your children. So, um, so tonight's all about inspirational women and what everyone wants to know is, is there an inspirational woman in your life? Yeah, my mum. Probably my mum. It's got to be my mum. It's got to be your mum. Well, I have to put mum first. Yeah. I think everybody would have to say their mum, wouldn't they? Most inspirational woman in my life has to be my mother. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it's got to be my mum. My mum's the most inspirational woman that I've met. Oh God, there's so many different, well, everyone's going to say their mum. I think my mum's amazing. I think she's a very inspirational person. Oh, my mum. <laughs> Undoubtedly. I knew you were going to say that. Mother. It's been pretty amazing, the response from everyone. I you know, never expected it to be like that. and It's really kind of spurred me on to do more. And when I was in hospital, I saw a lot of people worse off than me. You know, I've had a lot of support. Not everyone's got that, and a cure needs to be found. So that's my, it's my focus, and that's my aim, and I'm confident it will be done. So thank you, everyone. Audrey Flash. Thank you all for giving me this. It's really, this is about the kids that I brought through. I meet them now and they're going to uni, they're going to college, they're doing social work, they're doing nursing. And they said to me, if it wasn't you, I wouldn't be doing all this. Doing this job that I'm doing, I'm not allowed to have favourites, but you're my favourite. I'm still doing it. Claire Watson is an inspiration to us all and in many different ways. She was the most kind, caring and fun-loving person, always putting others before herself and never afraid of a challenge. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for Claire. We feel truly honoured to accept this award on her behalf. And thank you to our fantastic parents, they're just the best. I was absolutely speechless. I've never been speechless before, but wow, they got me, they got me. I don't regard myself as being inspirational, but if I have inspired anybody along the way, then I too would be very proud. I would like on Karen's behalf to give you a grant of £10,000 tonight to hope that this makes a very successful it for the 2012 Inspiration Awards. We've raised a whole lot of cash for Breakthrough Breast Cancer, but certainly we will be back next year even bigger and even better. Until then, good night. <laughs>